morning, Jeremy here. Uh, I got some very exciting uh, thing we're doing today. Uh, first of all, sorry I am recording while driving. Um, call the cops, whatever. Whatever you want to do. But anyways, uh, last night we, yesterday we picked up some bees from uh, the Scandia Honey Company in Scandia, Alberta. Uh, they are the largest importer of bees in Alberta and it might even be in Canada. But uh, anyways, we got 8,000 bees and a hive. So this morning, we are going to put our bees into the hive. Uh, we were supposed to do it last night, but a few things we didn't have, a few circumstances we weren't able to do it, but we're doing it first thing this morning. It's nice and cool, it's about two degrees Celsius, and uh, it should be nice and cool. Bees are a little more calm when it's cold. And uh, anyways, once we get out to our land, I will set up the camera. I probably won't be doing any talking because it is really windy here today. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and hive our bees. Um, 8,000 of them, hopefully without getting stung once. So anyways, stay tuned and uh, we'll be out the land shortly. Alright, so what we're uh, doing here is we're adding sugar water to the feeder. It's basically like a little plastic uh, little container that's on the end of the the box there and the uh, the sugar uh, water is basically two parts sugar to one part water uh, you boil that up mix it in good and that is what you feed the bees and so we basically have just added it there um, the next thing we're doing is we have to remove three of these frames uh, for a little feeder cup to make room for it basically when the bees come in a, in a box they have a little it's like a gelatin sugar water mixture and uh, they're in this little cup and basically there's bees inside of there and it's a lot of work to get them out so uh, overnight what you do is simply leave the feeder cup in and they'll make their way out that way you're not digging around messing with too many bees and then also that little uh, white thing that my wife had just laid down um, that is called a pollen patty and it's uh, some type of a combination of like sugar water sugar substance pollen um, some other things it's, it's actually edible it tastes a lot like peanut butter and jam sandwiches so it's kind of cool uh, that basically helps out when there are no dandelions active and uh, it just gives the bees pollen and that they need for their food And here we are actually ready to, uh, well, I've got the bees. I have them wrapped up in a towel just so that they don't get too angry from the wind. They're in a little box that's got a screen on it. And uh, we didn't have bee suits yet. We actually purchased those just today. So we had the hoods, and uh, I was ridiculously scared at this point. So I'll uh, kind of walk you through this. Basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the knife, I'm cutting open... Uh, the big sticker that they put on to keep that feeder cup inside and um, You have to cut that out and as soon as that's done you can pull that out and the bees are free to, to escape and then before you do that you actually have to Bang this box of bees to get all the bees on the bottom uh, The guy who walked us through this said, you know be quite it's quite a violent process You're not being gentle with them. You smack them there. You can see them all landing on the bottom and uh Try to get as many down to the bottom as you can, and then uh, and then you're ready to move. So uh, you got to move quickly here. You'll see when I start, I'll pull out the cup. Actually, I uh, I end up banging it one more time because I'm a little nervous that there's too many bees near the top. So a couple more taps, and then we pull out the cup, put it into the box, and then I'm reaching in and I'm pulling out a little box that's uh, wired to the top, and that is the queen box. That has the queen bee in it and uh, there's a little door you have to open up and then rip it off really quickly and put it upside down and then the queen the queen will go out of there down into through the uh, frames and so I'm trying to get the queen there to the bottom of the box and she kept she seemed really angry she kept crawling up crawling up and uh, you don't want to lose your queen you want to get it right into the hive so anyways there it is open up set it down and she's walking out now I dump out the bees and uh, 
Eight thousand bees. It's it's there's a whole mess. It's like dumping sand out of a box. They just fall down. And you bang it and tap it, and you gotta keep uh, banging it either way. But uh, very intense, uh, kind of a nerve wracking process, but really quite simple. Uh, it was very. I was really really scared. It's it's, an, it's scary when you're doing it, but these bees didn't seem to care at all. Like not one of them acted angry, and uh, it seemed like they just wanted to get in there and get to work right away. So. Kind of a cool little process. We did it! Yay! <laughs> Alright guys, well there you have it. Hopefully you caught all that. It's super windy out here. A beautiful wife and uh, yeah it was actually uh, when we started doing it, it was really intense but uh, in the middle of it I was like these bees are just happy to be alive and they don't even care I'm here and they didn't fuss one bit just dump them all in there and uh, the queen I was worried because it kind of went down and kind of came up but she ended up going back down into the hive and so I'm gonna go through and narrate the video and let you know what we're doing and why uh, but uh, nobody got stung Bees are in their new home, so hopefully they'll get settled in and start uh, start get some eggs laid. All right, well, uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it, and uh, we'll get this video up soon.